Welcome back to the channel. It's Mass Mortal, favorite music hub, and my boy Davion today. You know, it doesn't have a mask on. One stop shop. Yes, Ew. sir. One stop shop. We got little Uzi Vert, one of the greatest artists, would you say, of our time? Yep. All right, all right. One of the greatest of our time. Both of us will be ranking the discography from worst to best. We'll also give you our top three songs from each album as well. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn the noties on. Yeah. Number six, or the worst one for me, has to be Pluto times Baby Pluto, the deluxe. Future little Uzi Vert, I had high expectations for it and kind of turned out to be kind of, kind of cruddy all around. There was not really a like featured song or even like one or two songs that like stuck out from the rest for me. I don't know what your your worst one is, but. Uh, honestly, deluxe or regular version, it was still garbage. Really? It didn't matter to me. Really? Both of them were trash. When I first listened to this album, I wasn't into anime at all. So I didn't know Naruto, none of that. Yeah. So when I read Baby Sasuke, I initially said Baby Sasuke. And I was like... <laughs> like the car? <laughs> bro, bro. <laughs> I was like, bro, what is Baby Sasuke? But don't worry, I am... You I cultured now? I'm you cultured now. now. I'm right, knowledgeable. Right, right, right. I know Baby Sasuke. Oh, it, man. But I think the only song I really like on there was Million Dollar Play. That was the only song I really remember off that album. Even though it was a weak album, like one of the weakest album Little Uzi Vert's ever put out, I did like Paddock a lot. Million Dollar Play. Million Dollar Play was another really good song. And that then, was good. And then I'd say Lullaby. Honestly, as a third, I, I'll give you that one because only ones that I really like is Million Dollar Play and Paddock. Like Paddock is nice. Paddock is nice. Wait. I got those confused. Do you think it was the other song? Uh, the one where it's like new paddock on my wrist. Yeah, oh, new, new paddock. paddock. That's what it's called. Yes. New paddock on my wrist. Yeah. It's new paddock on my wrist. Bro, this song is crazy. I don't know. Paddock on my wrist. Wait for it. Go get a mate. Yeah. Yeah. You might stink. <laughs> I really expected a lot more from a future and little Uzi album i thought it was gonna be crazy when you think of when you think of like little uzi and future you think of high power so when you get an album like this you're like man what is this but it was awesome lean or something i don't know what they thought <laughs> <laughs> all right so number five for me i would have to say is love is rage oh no no boy ain't no way boy boy ain't no way boy no. i would have to because no. i said love is rage one I know, but I still like that. I still, that's but the OG Uzi. It is, but it's hard, bro. Oh. It's hard. Even though I do love a lot of those songs, but like, I but, gotta say that that track list is probably the weakest out of his albums, bro. The I'll, weakest? Out of like the top five. I won't, Pluto is not even in it. I'm not even talking about Pluto, <laughs> but the other ones, bro, it's so stacked that it's so hard, bro. I got Eternally Take Deluxe. That's fifth, Eternal, that's fifth for me. A take? Yeah. No yeah. way. Yeah, no, like that's that's my fifth worst. That's honestly, I felt like I Eternal felt like take? yeah, because if you're looking at the other Uzi, uh, other Uzi albums, I feel like those you could start categorizing and like, all right, that's like that's like classic Uzi, like that's like the OG Uzi. So you got to kind of look at like what you're kind of taking off now. I know a take was nice though. It was nice, but I'm just saying that's like out of all his discography, bro. That's like I rank it a fifth. Sheesh. For me, I'd say Yasersky, Secure the Bag, and P2 are my like top three songs off that album. That's respectable. I mean, I'll give you that. It's it's an album that I could probably pick another ten songs off there and say I like legit like replay value on them. Like I actually listened to it. So that album had no skips to me. Like I could listen to that whole uh, thing, just put it on there, just like go. There was a couple where I'd like go through and skip it, even when I was driving in the car. So. Out of 18 songs though, I'd say maybe two. My top three for Love Is Rage, even though like I said, that's the album that really got me into liking Lil Uzi. Like that's the album, but I would have to say 7 a.m. Belly and Enemies. Enemies being number one. I love Enemies. 7 a.m. is a classic though. Like it that's is. one that I still play to this day. That's replay yeah. value for me. Number four for me, I'm still high on every album that's about to come up here, but I'd probably say The Perfect Love Tape. Wow. That's number four for me. That's that, my four too. Is that really? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. So. I mean, I mean, honestly, if you're looking at it, it's just like it, there's nothing bad to that album. I remember replaying it a lot. Money Mitch used to be like a heavy replay for me. I just remember that song. I was like, yeah, like I was going crazy. Do what I oh, want too. Oh, oh my God, yeah. Like yeah. it still had bangers in it. It's just if you start looking at what's left in Little Uzi's discography, like you got to start eliminating. You got to start eliminating ones. 
after dude. after Money Mitch and Do What I Want, like I'm sure I'm missing a song or two, but it like starts to like fall off a little. It's so a top three out of this album. I mean, the album still goes crazy. I'd say the whole album has near to replay value. I give yeah. it like a high. I give this one like a high 8.5 out of 10. That's my rating on it. But go ahead. What's your top three? I would even say that this album is good and it shows how good Uzi is for this to be his fourth best and it's so good. It's diverse. It's got a diverse Uzi range on it. Yeah. Um. Do what I want. Ah, it's so hard, bro. Um. Sideline watching and seven million. See, seven million was crazy too. <laughs> Bro, Man, this one just, crazy. This is crazy, bro. Hard to pick three, but I'd go seven million, do what I want, and money Mitch. Just because money Mitch, I replayed in my car like crazy when it first came out. Yeah. Uh, very difficult, but we'll, we'll get into it more. Yeah, it's just I don't know, bro. For him to only have like ten songs, he only had ten songs on that album too. So like, for him to only have ten, it's like, geez, bro. You leave me no room to like say, okay, this one's good, this one's good, and these are okay, like. Only 10 is like, geez. Like, when he gives you like 18, it's like, okay, I could pick a few that's bad. Yeah, yeah. But this one is like, 10 is very, like, tight. You can't really, it's hard. We're down to three. <laughs> top three, top three. Yeah, top three. It's, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be tough. What do you got? Eternal to take, Deluxe. I picked Love is Rage. So we flip flop. That's all, that's all it is. It was a simple flip flop. I respect it. So why Eternal to take a three and not Love is Rage? For me, I fell in love with Uzi because of, like, Love is Rage. So I that holds more punch i guess you could say as an album yeah when you when you get an album that like makes you inter introduces you to an artist and then you fall in love with that artist i think it holds a higher standard but then again that could be a personal opinion rather Not, than an actual hit you know what i mean i feel like that's a justifiable reason because like with j cole forest hills drive is my favorite album because that was my first one okay. that i like really loved okay but i don't know like love is rage it was 7 a.m. Enemies, Belly. Those were like my top three on that album. And it was like, after that, those are the main three that I played off that album. So for me, it's more like a volume thing. Like I felt like Eternal Take had more songs that I really just like loved. Top on three album. off of Eternal Take? Three. Celebration. Nope, nope, nope. How are you gonna, how are you yes, gonna, yes, sir. How are you gonna, yes, how are you supposed to be like, oh yeah, I got this. And then you're like, oh wait, no, you switched it up. So, okay, so yes, sir, Ski. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir, Ski. Celebration Station. Okay, I'm with that. Bro, oh. you don't. You, you gotta mess with this. I do. Celebration Station. Mm -hmm. The beat on this. Ah! <laughs> and then. The Fusil? Fusil? Or is it Fusco? How do you say it? Nah, I'm the gonna shuffle? let you keep trying. The, the Fusil? 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 You talking about... Whatever it is, Uzi had that footwork. That's why it's number <laughs> talking one. talking about the Uzi shuffle? <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> that man went crazy. So that's number one. Alright. But that was hard, because the Deluxe got 32 songs. So it's like, how do you pick three out of 32 songs? Bust me, you can't skip. She said, Uzi, can you bust me? What do you mean by that? Love is rage for me. I don't even need to give you three. I'll give you one. Seven a.m. Seven a.m. for me just like made me love Little Uzi for any other album he drops from that point on. Seven a.m. was just like, seven a.m. introduced me to who Little Uzi was. That was back in the pink, uh, purple hair days. <laughs> That's OG. But That's he OG had Uzi, bro. Like, bro, you have Kyrie untucked jersey. You got. Kobe biting the jersey. The black you mask, got, LeBron James. And then you have purple braid Uzi. <laughs> like, demon. It's demon. just crazy, bro. Like, he was in his bag. Only two left. Only two. What's your number two? Love is. Um, oh, you can't switch it up. No, nah, love can't. is raised too. Love is raised too. I go, oh, I, I put go. love. Oh, no. I put little Uzi Vert versus the world. That's my number two. And love is rage. Uh, Love is Rage 2 is my number one album. That is hands down the best Little Uzi Vert album he's ever produced. There is no skips. There is not one song that you skip over and you're like, I don't like it. You can listen to that over and over and over again and you're like, I love it. You could. There's a couple, here's my thing. Little Uzi Vert versus the world. I think there may be a couple skips in there. 
towards the end, but the chunk of that album is phenomenal. It's crazy, bro. So I, I can see where you're going with it. I'm not. I'm not disagree. Like I'm disagreeing, but like we both had the same two. Like last yeah, two so for a like, reason. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like we. I think anybody that's a little Uzi fan out there can understand why these two are like the top two in my opinion. Yeah, I feel like Lil Uzi Vert vs. The World, bro. He started off with Canada Canadian Goose, bro. High Roller, Money Longer, Grab the Wheel. You he like, was right. Like, do you like bro. Money Longer more than XO Tour? Depends on what type of mood you in. Okay, all right, that's fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, I mean, fair enough. <laughs> I, I think XO Tour is a little bit better, but. I mean, uh, I'm not discrediting Money Longer. I love Money Longer, but I, I feel just, like I'd go one two. When Love Is Raised dropped, and then that album came right after. But Money Longer came out, bro. That was a song I played, bro. This album, like you said, that album that gets you into loving Lil Uzi. Love Is Rage introduced me to Lil Uzi. Lil, uh, Lil Uzi Vert vs. The World made me love Lil Uzi. Like, okay, that album okay, just okay, like, okay, okay. Bro, I like, understand I, it then. Man, I couldn't skip nothing on that album. Love Is Rage 2, I'd put that into like a, personally, a top 15, top 20 category of like all time hip hop rap artist mm -hmm. like albums. I put that into a, like a top 20 for me. I could respectfully make a case for Love Is Rage 2 for being a top 20 album. Yeah. That's how I look at it. Top four songs off both these albums combined. Honestly, it's so hard, so no order, but. Four 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 plus two two two. Bro, you knew he was coming with something. He's okay. I'm ready. He ready. Like he ready. Three, me, pull up, walk in. Everybody yeah, like watch out. Like when you hear that, goosebumps, bro. I got goosebumps. Coming down, man. Trying like a lighthouse. Go fast, slow down, revenge, revenge, revenge. Money longer. P's and Q's. Oh, it's still hard. Nah, forget P's and Q's. Throwing it away. You throwing it away? Uh, sauce it up. So you got one more. Canadian goose, bro. Two Dark Queen, Money Longer, XO Tour Life. That's my four. Only one I don't agree with is Dark Queen. I don't know. I don't feel that one like that. Oh man, Dark Queen up. See, I don't know why. I just replayed that a lot. So I think we can agree. Little Uzi Vert is just a supreme artist as well. He he's is. he's one of the top. I mean, there's a reason why you like them since he dropped Love Is Rage, and since I like them since he dropped Love Is Rage. There's a reason for it. So. Everybody, if you're new to the channel, thank you very much. Davion, thank you for coming along. Thank you I for having me. I appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. I'll have to have you back. Of course. Of course. So make sure you guys hit the bell. Subscribe. Dang. Peace. Another man made you lose your breath. Come oh, on, pause, bro. bro. Come on, bro. This man. I had to pause for this man's great. <laughs> Nigga, pull up in G.I. Joe, man. 762, turn to G.I. Dance. Every home and boo, baby, behind, man.